Hi, this is Cindy with Mimi's Treasure Cottage. Welcome back to what I hope is the last and final installment of this mega haul. Um, join me. We've got a lot of really fun stuff to look at, and I think you'll enjoy it. So let me bring you on over. So I showed this in my last haul. This is paper. I'm going to leave this here because I think it might help me with the, um, with the focusing of my camera. So let's get back here. Uh, one of the things, one of the vintage things that I picked up, I'm trying to see a good angle, there we go, is this Video Village. I like old vintage games, and I picked this up because it had that look to it, that 60s, 70s look to it, and this is on the inside. If you can see here, it has all these cute little receptacles for these little cards, and these little cards are very cool. These why does it say do it yourself but then on the back I don't know if you can read it if I kept this other thing down let's let's put this up here can you read this I can't tell oh, I can't tell if it's focusing anyway um so it has all these little cards and I'm attracted to things with little cards in it too so that's part of the reason why I got it I don't know yet if it's all here usually I go through these you know and make sure that I see that everything's here but I just don't know this goes over here like this and that cute you know there's a little bridge on the board more of these little cards so one set one one set says bus stop the other one says do it yourself take a chance so there's all kinds of little things in here finders keepers town council there's a jail here let's see if you see this little jail here and there's little people inside the jail little bitty people little plastic people so that's cute then they have their um play money and the instructions are on the back side of the lid which is always good this box has seen a little bit of water damage you can tell there's a little bit of i don't know if you can tell there's a little bit of warping to the box but it's intact and it's not ripped or yeah. Well, there's a little scuff on the bottom. Oops, moth. A little scuff there. But I, at any rate, I, I liked it. It was good. And if it's not intact or it doesn't, it's not worth anything much at all, I can keep those little cards. So you've seen this probably in past videos, just off to the side. But I grabbed this, and there were a lot of these Disney type records. But again, I try to stay away from things that I don't know much about and that are not in my wheelhouse um, to use the current vernacular. But I got this because I like Disney and I had little Disney records as a kid, although I don't believe I ever had this one. And the record itself looks to be in really good condition. I did see not a. Well, there's some scuff marks here. My daughter has a vinyl record player, so if I ever decided I wanted to sell it, I could play it first just to see if it skipped or anything. But I grabbed that, again, because I thought it was cute. It's Chippendale. It's a little Chippendale. Okay, so I got that. Now, the rest of this, I'm going to have to pull down some... Well, let's go through these little bags before I pull down. So this bag was marked 25 cents, but it wasn't. <laughs> was marked $3 by the estate sale people. And oh, actually I did go through some of these bags. So this bag is this bag of stuff that I like. So we'll go through that later. This bag is the bag of stuff that I'm going to sell that I had kind of weeded out. So in that bag were some plastic little doodads, little baby, little Santa. This is kind of a resin guy. Little plastic baby on a with a tail <laughs> and then there's some little I should have saved these for Christmas in July I don't know this is Christmas guy this is a little Christmas guy the little mouse little plastic guy another little Christmas guy and then there's some um, little plastic let's get these off of here and show you close up little plastic instruments you see all those little plastic instruments. This guy's broken. I don't know what he's missing. Something. A little Easter egg and some other stuff. There's a hand. 
Anybody need a ceramic hand? Um, so you can kind of see what's left on there. That was in this bag of things that I, you know, wasn't that excited about. I do kind of like the little Christmas horse, but I need him in here. I can get these back in here real quick, and then we'll show you the other bag. And this bag has stuff in it that I really liked. I pulled it out and set it aside. Um, well, mostly. <laughs> But this part I didn't really like. It must be in the smaller one. But there is a little flocked angel. You know. Get the flock out of here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a little. Little snap happy. I don't know why. There's an arm with a baby bottle on it. And it's funny. I'm using the thing that I was going to use as you know, fix that. Hopefully that helps. Can you see it? Yeah, it's not focusing. Focus, focus. I can't tell. Anyway, all right. So then it had, it had this. It's just some sort of little piece of something or another. It's actually faster if I don't do that. Little Christmas bear. A little caboose. Another stupid. Oops. Another cute little bear. I've been doing this a long time today, you guys. I'm a little tired. Here's another hand. So this must go with the other hand that was in there. This is kind of a cute little Christmas ornament. Tiny. More of these plastic instruments, like in the other one. And then two arms in sleeves. Okay, so that was the one thing. This is the bunch of stuff that I really liked. And like I said, I tried to do the close-up thing with the, that other thing, and it wasn't working. But there are these little guys here. I really like them. This cute little wooden mouse. I like him. Little religious icon guy. I like him. Hope that helps. And then there's three of these little plastic babies. see those well or not. I thought they were fun. There's a little bulldog. He's not marked or anything that I can see on the bottom. He's, I don't know, maybe resin or something. I liked this little plastic deer. There we go. Aw, this guy is cute. He's vintage Christmas. Maybe I'll put him in so I don't know when this video is going to come out, but on July 11th, I think it is, they are doing a Thriftmas in July, and I can't think of the name of her channel. It has thrift in it, and I'm sorry. But I may, keep, I may actually add this to that video as well, so you may see it twice. And there's this cute little deer. So, yeah, so that was fun. So I got those guys. Let me put these back. Back in the bag. Back in the bag. Okay, so let's get to this big, big orange container. Oh, maybe this video will not be the last one. We'll see. I don't know. All right, so I, this is not in my wheelhouse either. But I've seen a lot of people get it, and they're, like, I guess, sought after. So I got this little enamel pan. It does have a thing here. I don't think you can have enamel without having something wrong with it. It has a lid. I'm hoping to find it in the bin as we go along. Got Velcro. These are useful things. Got a Kleenex, a Christmas Kleenex thing. That's a useful thing. I got this doily. It was the only real doily thing I saw there and I like doilies for my art it has a nice drape to it I it's not it's more more modern I believe because this feels like nylon there's that oh is that down in the bottom there I'll put that back I got this to get rid of <laughs> I got this to sell because I thought it was cute oh there's my lid okay there's the lid to my enamel thing I knew I had it so they wanted $7 for that. It was small enough. I got it. I thought it was cute. It has a little bit of a thing in the lid, too. 
that. I got this. I thought that was cute. I have more than one of these. Like I, I said in a previous thing, she was a crafter, and so she had an awful lot of crafting supplies. And this was originally $6. Sometimes I think you could get this kind of stuff for 40% off. Um, but, but still, not cheap. So I got that. This is vintage. It had $5 on it. Since I was doing my whole lot thing and I like this kind of stuff, I grabbed it. This is totally for crafting. Totally, I don't know if I'll get rid of it. If I get rid of it, I mean sell it. Or if I will keep it to organize some of my smaller beads, I'll probably get rid of it. It doesn't have the lid that goes over the top of these, but these are all little, those are good little pieces there. I have no idea what this is for. If it's just trim, but it, see it has these little dots on the bottom, so it, like it was supposed to stand. But my thought on this was, check it out, let's find it. It will cause things to stand upright, okay? So I thought again, another great vintage picture display. So I got, that's why I got it, that piece. What's in here? Oh, this is all sewing stuff. I'll do a quickly go through here. There's a marking pencil. Um, this actually may be more for crafting as a scallop edge template hem thing. Velcro, a zipper. I picked up a few wooden spools. I have lots and lots of wooden spools. I didn't need them. I picked up a piece of measuring tape, also something I didn't need. I picked up safety pins, something I can always use. And then um, why I picked up snaps and these things, I don't know. I have a whole bunch of them and I have some even in the booth that I'm trying to sell and they're not selling, but then again, nothing. Nothing in my booth is selling. I gotta look at the right place. Nothing really is selling. Don't know what that is. I'm not gonna be doing it a whole lot more. So at any rate, these I thought were kind of cool like little garter holders and then there's some um, machine sewing machine needles in there that are supposed to be universal sewing machine needles. Um, this bag I got, this bag is full of the beaded trim. I had another bag in another video. This is the one I was looking for. I told you I know I have more of this and I did and this is where it is. And so I, there's more of that particular sign. So I'm going to have to put these aside with the other ones. Those are cute. More. This one's different. And then there's the last two. I'm going to shove these back in there. Make sure I put those with the rest of the trim. You know, it's funny. I wish I remembered names off the top of my head, but I don't. Because there's another lady that I watch on here, and I'm sure you all watch her too. She's awesome. She's one of my favorite videos to watch. But she, I just watched a video of hers not long ago where she was saying how she was all, all slap happy. I'm feeling kind of slap happy today. I'm just tired. These are appliques. So this is awesome for um, art and crafting and whatever. The whole bag of these kind of appliques. This is from Michael's, the card connection. And these are little hearts appliques. This is a little fabric card applique, another one of those kind of appliques. Here's more, you can kind of see these from down there. Those are really cool, right? More that. There's this one. And then there's my Nutcracker. Or Toy Soldier. I don't know Toy Soldier. Ooh, that's pretty on the card, new. Um, let's see what else I can show you. This is miscellaneous stuff. This is a tin full of interesting paper clips. That's good for junk journaling. A little jar of vinyl. I thought that was cute. These are just 
one of these is an earring. I have a couple of these. These are single earrings that I'm betting she bought somewhere to use as embellishments. Um, a little thing. You know what I mean? It's blend things together. Then this, actually, I believe is an ornament made in China. It's not, it's, you know, newer. But as an artist and a jewelry maker, oh, I'm sorry, I'm off screen. The, each one of these things can be used in that fashion. These can be expensive, these little ring things, and we can use these to make books out of. And then I got a couple little pieces of filigree for jewelry making. So that was in that bag. I and mean, hey guys, can you see? Yes, I'm sitting here looking at this. Can you imagine? And I'm sorry I didn't take you long, but it was three hours, and I'm I'm still real funny about filming um, while I'm at an estate sale or wherever because I don't I feel funny about it. So hopefully I can get over that. And I do have a GoPro that I've been trying to wear, but the problem with this, with the GoPro and with my other method of doing the that other than my phone is that. It's in the wrong format, and I have to find a way to convert the videos in order to do it. So we'll see what we're doing. Um, I got this tin of vintage white buttons. I did throw a couple of little gold ones in there just for somewhere to put them. I'm a button fiend. I love buttons. I got this because it was a cute old box. Not because there's needles in there, but it's a nice old box. And... I liked it, and I might use it in arts and crafts someday. I got a few of these. I'm not sure if they're ornaments or what they were meant for, whether they were meant for flower decorating, but I got those. I do try to avoid books and things. I sound like a broken record, but I thought these were kind of cool. These are little, very compact songbooks. This one is for 4-H. That one I thought was kind of cool. This one is a... Um, Swiss Alpine songs. There's somebody's old address on there. But I thought that was kind of cute. Pocket full of songs. Manitowoc, I can't say that word. Manitowoc sings. Um, so these are songs. I think that some of these pocket full of songs. Cache of songs for Alaska. Sing it again. These are all little small things, but lots of, you know, folk songs. This one's folk songs from Czechoslovakia. Girl Scouts pocket songbook. This could be worth something. I have not looked it up yet, but 4-H and Girl Scouts, I'm going to keep those to the side. 100 rounds for singing. Hymns of the month. Sing together, children. And songs to keep. But I grabbed all of those because, if for nothing more, they're good for junk journaling. Okay, let's move on. These I can show you in one fell swoop, so I will. I got all of these are various floral accessories. These little feathers all have little bells in them. That's kind of fun. That has that. There's a whole bunch of these little sprigs. There's this guy here. Let's see what I'll put that aside. Another one of those peacock feathers. So we'll put that aside. A little bag. That's really cool. These are millinery. I don't know if I said that word right. Flowers. These little teeny weeny itty bitty guys. I like those. More grapes. More of those things. More, more feather things. They had a, a, a lot more stuff like this. Um, so I was actually, if you can believe it or not, I was actually selective about what I, what I grabbed. Um, I got stickers. These I got for my, my students. I teach after school drawing. I got those for my students. I don't, I'm not a sticker person. This little bag was just hanging out, but it's got, uh, wooden spools, the awesome kind that I would use for making, um, snippet rolls or whatever. And then there's little bitty uh, taper candles in there. This I got for me. This is bra. Th these are bra straps. That's cool. I like that. 
spray block, which may or may not be good. Sometimes you get that old stuff and it's it's not really good. This will help when I can't see something. I dug for these. These are ornaments, but they're a nice um, piece for embellishing things. They're actually kind of heavy. I may or may not keep those. I may sell them. This just was in with all of what I got. Two uh, Toy Story buttons. I, they used the third one. But that might be worth something. This is another magnifying thing. It's like a bookmark that magnifies stuff. These are cute. Let me show you these real quick. Not all of them. But... These are dominoes. Can you see that? Are you able to see that? Focus on the dogs. I don't know if you can see that. They have spots on them. And the spots are the domino things. Numbers. I thought that was cute. I got a couple of these wine charm things to make your own wine charms. I got a cutting mat. Who can't use a cutting mat? I need lots of cutting mats. When I teach, I need all kinds of them. And then I got this book. I got this book for me because I like to do embroidery. And it has all kinds of really wonderful stitches in it. And I can't wait to spend time going through that. I have not had a chance to do that yet. So there's that. I got this. This is fun. Look at this. This, you can wrap around your shopping bag handles and stuff and carry them and they won't hurt your hands. Now, I think it probably was meant for a, a frying pan, but that's what I got this one. This is, um, oh shucks, what is the name of this stuff? Inter not, is it interfacing? No, it's stuff quilters use in between. Oh, interesting. It has an, hello, focus. It has um, kind of a crinkly backside to it, but it reminded me of, oh shucks, I just can't think of the name of it. But batting, that's the word. Okay, got this. I'm trying to go faster if you guys can't tell. I'm tired of doing this. And I got a little thimble. I don't think it's anything special, but I do buy metal thimbles. I don't think there's anything in the thing. And I grabbed the bag merely as a vehicle to take my stuff in, but I thought that was kind of cool. And the bag was kind of neat. So. Alright, let me get this out of the way. And then we'll finish up with this. Can you see this? I got this whole thing. I didn't count them, but there's all of these trims in this. Can you see this trim? I don't know if you can see it. It's very cute. But a whole box of these trims. And so I got all of those. I don't know how many that was. So I got all of those. And you guys are going to have to tune in to the very last video. Let me show you me again. You're going to have to tune in. Get my glasses off. <laughs> Look at the right place. Look at the right place. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm happy. Anyway, you're going to have to turn in. Tune in to the very last episode to find out how much it paid for all of this stuff. And hopefully you won't forget all this stuff by the time we get to the last episode. So thanks for joining me. Please join me for the rest. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe so you know when the next video comes out. And um, give me a thumbs up. That would make me happy. Share with your friends. I don't know if, if it was this video or another video. I was kind of lamenting. Like, my subscribership is not really taking off, so I would appreciate any help I could get. So share me with your friends and uh, leave a comment. That would be awesome. Thanks for joining me, you guys. And <laughs> I love that you stuck through all of my slap-happy goofiness. So thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.